holy fire in that room to drive out anything that doesn't belong in there now. And I cleanse the wall with the holy fire from the altar. And I put the anointing of the Holy Spirit and His glory in that place. All right. That's good, because I wanted to make sure I was seen right, Andrew. And Robbie, yes. and you, what I saw was, did you feel anything at the end? And did you feel like you got broken from Jezebel at the same time? Yes, yes. Oh, good. I was sensing My cock right. is limp and now. I'm, my I'm cock has got very back. limp. I play with my balls. Why? Well, it's just because I know I know my cock is limp now, and I just touch it to make sure it is limp. It was so hard for three days, and now it is limp, limp like butter rolls. Well, didn't you say you you um put your private in somebody's mouth and they sucked it? Yes, 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 I did. That's why. That's why. So you need to learn to do that. And I'll help you break it. Six minute warning to 114, baby cake. Six minute warning to 114, sweet cheeks. Who said that? Not at all. You better get off the phone. I will play with your penis and I will shove it up your buttocks. You better get off the line now. Yes. Thank you very much. No box will play that again. I forbid the box that we plays that from whoever Jezebel and where it's called to do that. I break that curse by the authority of Jesus and I pluck you up from the roots and send you to the black box to be locked up. This is a anointed with oil and the glory of God. And you all need to go. And you all need to leave everybody alone. And that's good. I wanted to make sure I was sensing right. And I didn't want to say it to people that weren't strong enough spiritually to understand because they may block it or, or have something to interfere with it. Okay. Yes, yes. Thing. Hello, man. This is Sherman. Sherman. Did you want Get to out of here, girl? Sherman. We got our sugar, okay? All right, I wanted to make sure you had your sugar. All right, good night, Marilyn. I like playing with Alice Sacrament's pussy. Marilyn, I love you. You know, you don't realize Jezebel uses you as a spirit of distraction to keep me from talking to Barnabas. I'm going to bed now, Marilyn. I want to tell you, you good night. You. All right, bye now. God bless you. You too, my friend. Still my friend. Bye bye. Well, I'm a little slow. All right, good night. Good night, Bobby. Good yes. night, my friend. Good night, Sherman. Yes, good night. All right, good night, Sherman. You can close the door behind you. Thank you for the sugar. Yeah. Hi, Boo. That was oh. kind of you. I hate to hurt his feelings. He's all right. He, like he knows. Every, every time I get to Barnabas, he or Rick shows up. Good boy. He's a good boy, aren't you? Every time I want to talk to Barnabas, Robbie Barnabas, you or Rick would show up. It's not very Christian-like. 
And who are you? They call me Barry. Oh. Barry Too Hard? No. Barry Too Hard? What? Barry Stallone. I thought you would let us his. I need to talk to them alone, please. Barry Stallone is a good man. Yes, thank you very much. Barry can be with us here. Barry Stallone, please, please meet Marilyn. He's our true angel here. He is guiding us. Yes, oh, thank I didn't know that. Yes. I figured you would speak up if he was there. Okay. Now, okay. Oh, I got it now. Okay. I got it. I understand. I understand. I just I got do. something, if I'm correct. No, let me say something before you talk again. I understand. I understand if I'm correct. Okay. What I received also, did you feel anything when the pastor was talking about a double anointing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We both did you felt feel it. something, Bobby? Did yes. you feel something? Yes, I felt it all the way from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet and indirectly right into my anus. I felt it sharp pain into my ball sack. Yes, thank you very much. Very deep pain. And it must have broke, and it must have broke something. Yes, broke it my balls. Sharp. And then you know what I felt it. I felt it literally felt it for you. Yes. So strong. Yes. I felt it so strong for you. I felt it so you. strong. My balls blew up as, like as grapefruits. If I, as if I was receiving it. Yes, as you received my grapefruit balls. I bet it just made you melt all over. Yes, Barry Balone. Barry Balone. Go ahead. Barry, if you have something to say, go ahead. Did it give you ghost bumps? Did it give you bumps when it, you felt it all over? <laughs> yes, yes, goosebumps. Barry Balone. He understands. We have goosebumps. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Barry Balone. And I, all, I got really excited for 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 Robbie. I got so excited. I, I just felt like something was being put on you. Yes. And I was 114, 114, 114, 114, 114. Who said that? You better get the hell off the line. I'm going to come through the line. I'm going to cut your throat off. No weapon formed against us will prosper. I feel like. He speaks through Marilyn. She's like a clair clairvoyant. Um, sometimes I'm an earth angel. Yes. That's why. And I, I literally, I literally felt when he was going, when he received that. I felt, oh, and I, I saw oil being poured on you from the, at the top of your head. I saw oil, and what you were going through, Robbie, I felt the overflow. I felt like you were mainly getting it, but I was receiving something that was flowing all for you or splashing all for you onto me, and I was receiving it, and it made me so joyful and so happy for you. I think that big ball everywhere. I was all over. Oil was just being poured on yes, you. Yes, all up inside my anus. It was dripping all over my penis and the side of my anus. Oh, it was fresh and oh, I was being released. Oh, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise thank you, thank you Lord. Yes, thank Hallelujah. You very much. For cleansing him from all that he's been through. And I also felt from the both of you that you were getting memories when that girl was being delivered from all the hurt and the memories 
I felt like those of you were going through it as well. Did you both go through it? Oh, yeah. You too, Bobby? Yes, yes. I felt it all the way through my boner. Yes, thank you very much. I felt it very hard and soft. I, and I felt that too. You lubricated I my anus you very nicely. Not. I put my whole fist up oh my, my anus. <laughs> there was so much in there for all oh, of yes, you. Oh, yes. My whole anus was, was just packed it. with fudge. Now, and I felt that for the best I have of you. blisters around That's my anus. I'm going to for both of you. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I, Bobby, you've been feeling pretty good. You've been doing much better. Yes, yes, thank you, Andrew, thank you. Yes, very good, very I'm cleansed, very, very free of Jezebel. They jizzed all over so, me. Yes, and I'm so glad we had that time to talk last night. The osprey that of was leaving us alone. I was getting that laid was by an osprey. I imagine you had a good night's sleep last night. Very good, very talk. good. Yes, very, very good, very good. Peace and quietness at last. No osprey jumping into my anus and my ass. Felt good, felt good. I know, right, right, Bobby. I finally got a good night's sleep. I actually had some very peaceful dreams. I was dreaming of angels and heavens and the starlit sky and everything was like calm as water streams in the mountain snow. And then I woke up with a rock hard cock. Oh no. Just beautiful though. It went limp shortly after I woke up. Just straight up was hard as a rock and then went limp. Yes, yes, it was. I, I've seen it. I've seen it all. <laughs> I'm so happy for the both of you. Yes, yes. I yeah, thank to you, Marilyn. I make Marilyn. sure I was sensing right from the Spirit of God. And I wanted to rejoice with the both of you. And so Barry happy. Balone here, he likes to see our penises limp too. He's a nice angel. He, he makes sure that our cocks are nice and limp at all times. Jezebel is. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you miss him, Marilyn? Do you want him to come home? Ew. Andrew. Andrew. Andrew could be on assignment too up here. I don't know. When the Lord's ready for the both of them to come down, because I think they're ministering to the people here as well. They no. need to have. Funny, they need to have some mm -hmm. safe place to go to, <laughs> and and literally be I mean, ministered like Andrew does. You, right? Yeah. No, you're yeah. a woman, Marilyn. The one who was called the I'm on That's assignment. Right. I'm on an Has assignment. Has friend been right at your house before? Pardon me? I said you're a good Christian woman. Has Andrew ever slept in your house before with, at your place? He tried, but at the time I didn't realize Mr. Mann would take him away. I literally had to stay up for him Mr. to sleep Man. because he's me, and it was Mr. Man. Mr. And Man. as soon as um, I casted out Mr. Man, he never took him away again. So there was a there was a. I, there was a I, I started. I started, started doing deliverance from what I knew, and I was not doing it all right. I was not filling him back yeah. up. I have and fell asleep on the show, on. Kleiner. I fell asleep on the show Kleiner a few nights. I, I yeah. But not for long. Yeah, I Mr. usually Man. get astral projected out of there, Mr. Man. From Mr. Man. Yeah. If I didn't stay on and monitor. To me, that sounds like Marilyn has tossed around the romantic feelings once or twice with you. Maybe she thinks there could be a potential for more. Yeah. You know, yeah. No romance. No romance, but I do I do really respect him highly, and I'm so proud of him. She I was very so good friends with my clone. My, I root for him. Yes, my I clone. Tell her about my clone. In fact, 
My when client I Roger was Rollins, he, he I, was killed. When I, was saying, when I would go to the church, sometimes I would literally call their names out, and they hear me, and they get deliverance even more. Because at one time, the Satanists took them to their mansion to make sure they wouldn't go to that church no. <laughs> Tuesday night. And even Roger was forbidden. Yeah, Roger Rollins is my on. clone. He, he was killed by the light rail. A Satanist pushed him into the uh, light rail path. and Unfortunate, very unfortunate, traumatic for all of us. I literally, on Friday, cried myself to sleep. I didn't realize how good of a friend he was. Almost every Friday he'd come over. He'd call me to make sure I was okay because I used to try to throw him out thinking, he, you know, you don't belong in here. It's Andrew's place. And then I realized who he was and saw him smoking and got him to say the word Yahweh, breathe in and breathe out. It's a deliverance word and a peace word that will give you comfort. And finally, he started doing it. And then I asked him, would you like to receive Jesus Christ into your heart? And he said, would you like to know more about Jesus? So you, you know, and he said, yes, that's what I said. Let's go to my car where it's quiet and, and no one can hear us. And it was anointed. So we did, I explained it. He received the Lord and received an angel at the same time, walked down to Dunkin' Donuts in Towson, and that's how he got involved with Dunkin' Donuts. And it's not there anymore. It's somewhere else, but I was so glad it was there for the first, you know, few months at least, or a year, so that he could get there and he has made a remarkable change. Such a remarkable, he's such a gentleman. And he does have to keep the visions. We're not supposed to live this life alone. Yes. I have a little. Think... Yeah, Bobby and I, Bobby and I know that. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Yes, that's true, that's very true. Oh, I'm looking yeah. Forward to, I'm looking forward to Sunday. Saturated Sunday. I'm getting stiff. stiff. My cock's starting to get stiff. Uh, 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 Get down. Get down. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, Bobby. Yes, yes. Keep it. Keep it limp. Stop it. Just the thoughts in my head of Sunday. I thought I was hearing God right. Just, just had a little bit of a hard march, a little hard, a little rock hard there. I'm in preparation. I beat it. I beat it. I beat it up. I beat up my dick like it owed me money. <laughs> I think it's bruised. I think I bruised it. And we haven't, I haven't seen, Jezebel has been keeping um, Robbie away from me for over three years. Three years and four to five months. Might be the spirit of 114, not, yeah? I have not seen him. Yes, but we will meet again. I promise you that, I tell you. It will be all right. Everything just falls into place. Yes, thank you very much. But yeah, that was a good one, Andrew. That was such a huge confirmation. Yeah, thank you, yeah, that. yeah. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, God. I, I'm seeing the 
correctly. Yeah. My vision shows me that. Oh, I almost felt like I was just about to suck a prick nigger dick. Who said that? Who's on the line? You better get the fuck off right now. That's Jezebel and her, her box that replays it. Because I sent all of them to the black box to be locked up with chains. And I'm telling you, it was three boxes full. Three boxes full of three big black coxes. Yep. We all live in a big black cock. And the big black box will lock it up with God's chains and may it go down into the center of the universe and be locked up forever with God's... And, and you know, that, uh, my, the pastor from tonight wanted to know what to do with them, where to put them that was safe, and that's what God gave them. So, um, one of the prophetess that goes to Africa... She was, I think, in Africa, and she used that word, and the response was, Oh, no! Pastor Blaine! <laughs>